on and on and on and on and on. Jungle bungo, jungle bungo, jungle bungo, jungle bungo. He's the jungle bungo, jungle bungo, jungle bungo, jungle bungo. He's jungle bungo. Oink. Sleeping bag? Check. Stuffy? Check. Fresh pair of pajamas? Check. Tonight is a special night. You guys want to know why? Because I'm going camping outside. Oof. I'm okay. And I know what you guys are going to say. I'm going outside? Where outside? Well, here's the thing. I really don't feel like going camping on the outs out the outdoor tent, you know, down at the you know nature park. So to make it more not expensive, you know what we decided to have camping at? I feel like you guessed it. We're gonna go camping outside my backyard in front of my house. Yep, we're going camping outside my backyard of my own house. I know it sounds boring, but it's what we got left. It's the best we got. Come on, let's go see what my friends are doing. All right, Jungle, ready to go camping? Yes, I am, Bella. Are you ready to go camping? Oh, I was born ready. You weren't born ready. And me, you're going to be scared. Scared of what? Well, we're going to sleep outside near the mosquitoes and the skunks. There are no skunks in my backyard, Jenna. Trust me, Jungle, there are lots of skunks everywhere. That's why I'm bringing me a fresh pair of clippers. Because I'm not trying to smell the stink. Well, the only thing that's going to be stinking is all the beans that I'm going to be eating. Oh, man, you better you better stay away from me because all those beans that we're going to be roasting up, man, mm, my belly's going to be on fire. Ew, you know we're going to be outside of Jungle's backyard of the house, right? You can just go right inside and use the bathroom if you have to. That too, that too. Yeah, you guys can always use my bathroom inside. I mean, we don't got to go in the woods. It's not like we're going out far camping. We're going outside my backyard, so everything's going to be here. The bathroom, the house, and everything. Well, then, what are we waiting for? We got to go outside and go set up our tents. Yeah, come on, guys. We got no time to lose. All right, you heard what Charles said. We're going camping. We're going camping. Yay! Wow, kids. Everything looks so great out here. Thanks, Jungle's mother. Yeah, thank you, Jungle's mommy. We're going to have so much fun. <laughs> yes, we are, Jenna. Now, let's set up our sleeping tents. All right. I got my sleeping tent right here. Hey, I thought I, I thought that one was mine. Uh, Yours is a little short one. Oh, I get it. You're trying to give me the short one because you think I'm short. Well, your bow is short. Don't judge my bow. Uh, Jungle, we got to set up our sleeping tents. All right, then go, Charles. Go, go. Okay, I got it. Hold up. I got the edge. I got the edge. Ouch. Okay. I'm just going to attach this to here and... Bam! Uh-oh. Uh, my mistake. Uh, what did you hit, Eric? I kind of hit a little mousy. Squeak, squeak. Uh, he'll be fine. Let's just... Ew, boy. All right, I'm going to set up my sleeping tent. I'm just going to attach this to here. And then we got everything under control. Everything is all right. Everything is all right. Don't you guys agree? I agree, Jungle. Is y'all going camping? Mr. Rick? Hey there, kids! Y'all going camping? Yeah, we're going camping outside of Jungle's backyard. What? Outside of Jungle's backyard? You guys are crazy for that. What do you mean by that? Well, number one, you're doing it in the backyard. You can just go out to the better of Mother Nature and go camping. Everybody likes going naturing outside the better nature of the Mother Nature. Well, not us. We're going to choose a survival part. So we're going to do it right in my backyard. It's okay. My mom is here. The house is right there. We got to go inside for just a good reason. We got everything we need. No, uh-uh. If I were you guys, I would go farther out. I think that sounds like a not idea. Yeah, and besides, I don't think Jungle's mother is going to agree to that. Actually, kids, that sounds like a good idea. Who wants to go to the Mother Nature and go camping? Um... Um, really, Mom? We can do that? Uh, uh, I want to go to the Mother Nature. Ah, that a boy, Jungle. Yeah, Mr. Rick. I think we should go to the Mother Nature. Ah, uh, a boy, Jungle. All right, which one do you want to go? Um, um, I think me and Eric are going to stay. No, uh, 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 that makes no sense. You guys can't stay. Who's going to be here to watch you? We're all going to go, even Jungle's mother. Don't worry, you two. If you get scared, I'll sit next to you. Okay, Jungle's mother. Okay, Jungle's mother. All right. We're going to the woods to go camping. Oh, great. 
I guess I'm not gonna be able to go inside Jungle's house if I gotta use the bathroom for me and all those beans. Ah, uh, you'll be fine! We can bring some toilet paper, you could do it in the woods. Ugh, disgusting! Yeah, that's... That's kinda... Actually, that's kinda cool. Because at least I'll be able to go in the woods because I might not even have to poop all the time. I might have to just pee. Ew! Alright then, let's go! Come on! Let's go! And the adventure continues. Let's slide through it. Shh. All right, I guess we're going to set up our tent again. Yeah, because we already set them up, but now we got to reset them up because we have to go camping out here. All right, let's go. Camping bag set up. All right. I'm sleeping in my own bag, thank you. Oh, you don't want to share, Jungle? No, Charles, why would I want to share with you? You're going to be tossing and turning, and I'm not going to have to feel like a net. I'm cool right where I am. Suit yourself. All right, I'm gonna sleep right here. Me too, me three. All right, are oh, y'all sleeping on that side? They're not gonna hit me this time. Bang! Oops, did I have the same mouse? I'm going somewhere far. I'm tired of getting hit with those poles. All right, everybody, what do you think? Better yet? Uh, not really, Jungle's Mama, because we didn't even do nothing yet. Yeah, you're right. We didn't even do nothing yet. We, I mean, we just got here. Can we at least do something for fun? I think it's time to roast some marshmallows. Oh, thank goodness we don't have to do no beans. You know what? I just said that. We gotta eat first. Everyone, grab some beans. Oh, man. Don't worry. There's always supper after. All right, everybody, get a pot of beans. Mm, mm. But we don't have to have beans. I roast us some turkey. You roast a turkey? Hey, who said we're gonna have to just eat vegetables? Beans are vegetables. We need some meat in our tummies. We need that good protein. Thank goodness I brought this baby on the loose. You actually roasted a whole turkey. Hey, why not? He ain't gonna do nothing. It's dead. I cooked him. I wonder what he was saying when you were cooking him. Gobble, gobble. What does it look like? Wait, did he just come back alive? That was an hallucination. Oh, yeah, it was a hallucination. All right. So far, I'm actually enjoying this because I'm with everybody I love. Yeah, there you go, Jenna. You got nothing to worry about. We're all here together. Yeah, as long as we're all here together, we got nothing to worry about. Yeah, you guys are right. All right. Who's ready for the... What the heck? I thought she was dead. <sighs> come on, don't come alive now. All right. Like I was saying, who's ready for the fun part of camping? You mean... Telling, yup, telling scary stories. Oh no. Uh, good night, everybody. I'm going to sleep. Oh no, you're not, young man. You're gonna stay and listen to the camp stories with us. Yeah, we're gonna get scared all night. All right. Who should go first? Let me go first. All right, Charles. What kind of campfire do you know? Well, it all started on a night just like this night. Man, why does it have to be this night? Oh no. Oh no. More like it's gonna be based on a true story. So there I was. Stuck in my room. The door was jammed. I couldn't get out. So the only way to get out was through the window. But I didn't want to go through the window. But then I realized there was a fire coming through my door. And I got so scared. I was like, oh gosh, there's fire coming in. So I had no choice but to get out the window. <laughs> but I was like, oh, the window is shut. So I had to break it open with my hand. Like, bus! And, I, and, and then I fell out. Ah! And then all of a sudden, I kept falling and falling and falling. And there was no one there to catch me. So I ended up breaking my neck and breaking my neck and breaking my neck and breaking my neck and breaking my neck. I kept breaking my neck until the bull started cracking and crunching. <sighs> crunching and bulging. Jeez, Charles, what a violent story for you. I uh, know, right? It was uh, and crunching and crunching. Ah, 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 ah. You think this is funny? This is serious. Uh, falling. No, it, it is funny because, I mean, I mean, why am I still falling? I should have been done falling. So crunching and falling and crunching and falling and crunching and falling falling and crunching and falling and crunching and falling and then wham dead completely all over it was a big cinematic fall i'm not gonna forget about that moment so you're telling me you kept falling and falling and falling and breaking your necks and breaking your neck i kept breaking my neck bone so then how come your neck is not hurting anymore that was a long time ago. That wasn't today or yesterday or a week ago. That was a long time ago. But it was based on a true story. So how come you're not dead from that? I'm pretty sure breaking your neck that many times, you'll actually die from that. Eventually, you would die from it and you wouldn't be seen from again. I got some positive bones. Hey. 
Would that even work out right? Well, it depends on how your bones feel. For now on, when we sniff, we know what it did. That was quite a disturbing, violent, heartbreaking story you told there, Charles, but that wasn't really scary. Yeah, we're supposed to be telling scary stories, you know. Scary stories? Well, hey, you try telling a scary story and see how it feels when you gotta break your neck that many times. Well, that's not like a painful story. That's a more painful story. You wanna hear a scary story? You got one coming. So last night, I had to use the bathroom. Oh gosh, a poop joke. Stop interrupting me! It's not a poop joke. So there I was in the bathroom, giving myself a good look in the mirror. I looked all beautiful. Ugh, you're not that beautiful, you know that. You're not that beautiful. All of a sudden, I heard noise scratching on the door. Can't the woman like me have some privacy around here? <laughs> All of a sudden, it was the hand man. And then she, it grabbed me and it snatched me out the door. <laughs> oh, sorry, I forgot to roll the window up. <laughs> Did you die? Come on, man, how would she die? She's still here. Right, and then that was it. You guys cannot tell a great scary story now, can you? Can I tell a scary story now? Eric, you're gonna scare yourself and pee yourself. You're right. It's okay, buddy. You don't need that happening anyway. You choose to not getting scared. All right, everyone. I think that's enough scary stories for tonight. Right now, we should just go to bed and save our activities for tomorrow. You're right. At least we did all what we were supposed to do at camping. We eat. We rolled marshmallows, we did camping, set up our sleeping bags, and I'm already tired because I don't want to get nightmares. Yeah, you're right. You tell too many scary stories, you're going to get a nightmare. All right, everyone, into your sleeping bags. Time to get night. Time to get some nighty night. All right, everyone, good night. Good night. All right, everybody. The fact that you got to sleep with us, Mr. Rick. Oh, yeah, I wanted to come camp with you guys because I thought y'all was going to need some company. Well, it's good that you got to come camping with us. Tuh, scary story. I'm not even scared. Those stories didn't even scare me. I wasn't even scared. A little bit, but not. What was that? Ah! My gosh. Ah! Guys? Did you hear that? Hear what? What's wrong, jungle? I thought I hear something. It must have been your dream, jungle. Go to sleep. I can't go to sleep until I find out what that noise was. Must have been a woodpecker. I mean, sometimes they like to stay up all night. Woodpeckers don't stay up all night. Who says they don't? I'm going to go investigate. Oh my gosh. There's that scratching noise. It's that scratching noise, like from Bella's story. It's getting more worse, isn't it? Ah! Something's in the woods! Is it over yet? Don't eat me, don't eat me, don't eat me! Jungle, what's wrong, buddy? Oh, hi, everyone. What happened? We heard you screaming to death. What happened? Oh, I, I thought I seen something. In the woods? You were having a nightmare, man. A nightmare? Yeah. Talking about you seen a scary monster. That was just a nightmare you had. So I didn't really see a monster? And I'm still here? Yeah, man, it's only a nightmare. Oh, thank goodness it was a nightmare. I'm just so glad that we really didn't see no monsters. Nah, man, I told you if we, if we tell so many scary stories that we were going to get scared. We didn't even tell that much scary stories. We only told a few. Yeah, a few, but it's still under my lance. Well, it doesn't matter, listen. But I'm not really that much scared, I tell you. And by the way, that was nothing from when my butt got scared. Well... I guess sometime during camping, you can even have nightmares. That's another way of getting scared at camping, but not always. Um, hey Charles, 
I think I might need you to sleep with me tonight. I mean, you don't got to sleep inside my tent, but maybe you should scoot your tent next to mine. Da -da -da. You're watching Jungle Bungle. <laughs> ah, don't go away. We'll be right back on Melper. Melper. In a brand new Trino episode. Trino has an old sweater. I'm loving your new look with that sweater. Thank you, Puff. I had it a long time ago. Oh, I'm about to say, I thought you just bought it just now. But what happens when it gets stains? Oh, no. It's dirty. Ah! You stay my sweater? Ah! But you're going to have to walk around the city with that shirt off. What? I'm going to get some bleach. That costs $5. You got money for that? Run! Oh, I see you have... Oh, having problems paying, huh? Will Trino be able to get that stain off his sweater? Ah! Hey, what about the money? Find out in a new Trino episode. Trino sweater stain. Premiering next Saturday night at 7. On Melper. Melper. The sock must have printed all over my sweater and turned it black. Wow, nature is so clean. Especially the animals, even wild ones like me. Melon the lion, wow! Look at that cute little guy. So cute. Gee, thanks, bruh. What the? Dun um, you were just. What's up with him? You can go to natureneo.org to learn more about fresh animals and their habitat. Also, animals love life too. And see J Turbs, Melon, September 22nd. Please tell me he's gone. Please tell me he's gone. He's gone. What's up, man? Ah, kangaroo! Yeah. <laughs> On October 6th, the whole team will start to quit the paper. They gave it a break, they quit the paper. Mm -hmm. No Jeez. more paper inside, quit the paper. Yeah, I'm getting tired for the way it tastes. Yeah, there's no taste to it. They quit the paper. Ayo, ayo. They quit paper. Ah, that's nasty. I'm not going to eat paper. I'm not like the rest of them eating paper. And do you know paper's not for eating? Blah, I say. Blah. Paper Eaters 3. Uh, ready PG. In theaters, October 6th. Tickets on sale now. So then, um, I'm going on a treasure hunt to see what I can find. Huh? There's my target. Uh, B.O.'s. Delicious cinnamon cereal, all raggly. Mmm. Oh? Kimmy! B.O. monkey. Ah! Run! Give me my B.O.'s. You ain't kidding them. <gasps> Whoa! Ah! Delicious cinnamon B.O.'s cereal, part of a good breakfast. It's a B.O. Lolo. Hey? Iskalis, hey! You can cool off! Slurp, slurp, slurp! With slurp, the taste slurp. of new blueberry Iskalis popsicles! <laughs> blueberry? Mm. New of your choices? And your cockers kids me! Hungers rule! Uh. Time to eat some lunch! Exactly! Mmm, delicious, tasty, scrumptious! Excuse me, mind if I join in? Are you an armadillo? I sure am an armadillo! What is that? Oh, you mean this? This? Is fruit tubes. Whoa, what are fruit tubes? Fruit tubes is a fun snack that the whole family will love. It's full of so many fruits that you love to eat. So many fruits. F all fruits? All fruit. Try some. Let me try some. Ow! Bam! Those were good! I know they are. That's why everyone loves them. Can I have some more? Sure you can. Have as many as you want. Come on, I get some more. Listen. Mm. Wow, everybody loves my fruit tubes. <laughs> Wink. Now you can get your own fruit tubes. <laughs> fruit tubes, they're fruit fruit fruby. <laughs> See the fruit? Mmm, Honey Nut Cheerio cereal. What a yummy part of a good breakfast. It's made with delicious honey. I'm stealing all the honey. All the Honey Nut Cheerios. Oh no, we gotta get it back. Buzz, he won't interrupt my delicious breakfast. Buzz off, Buzz. Yay! Hey, Yellow Jacket, slow down! Bye, honey! Buzz, you saved the delicious honey! Well, it is what makes Honey Nut Cheerios so delicious. Yummy, yummy, yummy. 
From Jake Studios, hit balls too. Ha ha! It's the Hugging Jello figure. Press his target and he interacts. I'm a hippo of a hippo. Yeah, Jello! Give him a hug. Aw, you feel so nice. Pull his tail. Hey, easy, will ya? Special grooving mode. We are the hippos. Dance along for hours of hippo -ness. Come on, spin, spin, spin. Making me more fun with Jello. Come on, we don't want to be late for the hippo -versary. Aw, Jello, Team Hippo. Jake Studios, hit balls too. Huggy Jello, eat so separately. We now return to Jungle Bungo. Hey, what? You were in the way. I'm Melper. Melper. All right, what's the news? What's the news today? I know. We got so many news coming on. We just don't know what we got to expect from this. All right, everyone. Thanks for coming in. I need to talk to you guys. Oh, no. Sorry if I was using too much toilet paper, Jungle's mommy. You know, sometimes you gotta get a good wipe of yourself. No, I'm not talking about that, Hakira, honey. I'm talking about safety. What kind of safety, mom? Fire safety. In case of a fire comes into the house, what do we do? Well, we gotta run outside. That's a start. That's right, Charles. And what's the next thing you gotta do when there's a fire? Um, call 911? Yep, you gotta call 911 so they can grab their whole patrol and take the fire out, and then the next thing you gotta do is to make sure you got everything you need so you can run out happy with it. Girl, no! What are you talking about? Alan, what did I say? Girl, you can't take everything with you. It's gonna burn up by the time you can even get to it. You gotta leave it behind. But that stuff is so expensive. Do you know how long it took for me to buy it? You can always replace it, Jenna. You can always replace it, honey. Oh, you're right, Jungle's mom. I can. Yeah, <laughs> I will slap you. In your dreams. In your dreams. Wow, you kids know a lot about fire safety. Thank goodness that we're not going to even have any fires to where you guys can actually experience stuff like that. Oh, no, Mom. We're not going to have any fires because fires never really happen around my house. Isn't that right, guys? Yeah, jungle. Yeah. Yeah, stuff doesn't really happen around your house. Especially if it's even dangerous around midnight. Midnight? No, trolls. Stop giving ideas or you're going to make it a lot more worse. You know, my mom is right. Fire safety is really important. But not all the time when you gotta actually think that there's gonna actually be a real fire. Sometimes you just gotta skip it on by. You know what I mean? Eh, 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 eh. Ah! Fire! There's a fire in the house! Ah! Fire! Jungle! What's wrong? Hakira! I think there's a fire going on. A fire? How do you know there's a fire? Because I heard the fire alarm go off. Eh, 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 eh. What's going on? I think there's a fire going on. Eh, 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 eh. That fire alarm says otherwise. It's a fire! It's a fire! Ah! Oh, fire! There's a fire in the house! We gotta put it out! Mimo, 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 Mimo! Ah! Akira! Now, why aren't these water holes working? Um, you're not turning it on the right way. No, I'm turning it on the right way. They just don't want to come on. Uh, here, let me do it. No, don't touch it. You're going to make it worse. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing, and I know what I'm doing, and I know what I'm doing. Ah! Oh, my gosh. Gosh, 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 gosh. <laughs> fire, fire, fire. It's a fire. It's a, it's a fire. It's a fire. It's a fire. It's a fire. Eric, why are you just sitting there staring? You should be ready. Oh, what I get for not asking what's going on. Ah! Kids, what's going on here? Mom, there's a fire in the house. No, there isn't. There's not? No. I mean, there was a fire, but I put it out already. I burnt the chicken. You burnt fried chicken? Yes. I was frying chicken for dinner, and then I had the fire on too high, and then the smoke detector just started coming on all insane. So, there was a fire, but it's gone now. All gone. I already turned all the smoke off. There's no more smoke in the kitchen. Oh. Wow. And we thought this whole time there was a fire going on. But I'm so proud of you kids. You guys actually know what to do when there's a fire. But you kind of failed something. You didn't run outside. 
We did? Well, actually, I ran outside, but actually, I fell outside, so does that count? I mean, it, it, it kind of does a little bit, but I was expecting you guys to just run outside. We're sorry, Jungles Mommy. Yeah, we're sorry, Mom. I think we kind of failed the first lesson. Do you think we should start over? I mean, do you guys want to start over? No! No, I don't think we should start over because we got scared so much. We don't need to get scared some more. No, I think we should do it again. All right, then. You better get out this house or that fire's going to get you. <laughs> ah! Charles, why would you say that? What? We messed up. We got to start over. There was no reason to start over. We were fine. Now we got to run away because of you. Ah! Wait, I'm just trying to do the opposite. Fire! There's a fire in the house. We got to get out of here. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Oh, ow, ow. Everyone outside. Oh, I wish we could take all this stuff with me, but we can't. But that's okay. That's okay. It's always can be replaced. It's always can be replaced. It always can be replaced? Jenna, this is no time to be talking to yourself. Don't you see there's a fire going on? Quick, out the door. Out the door, out the door, out the door. Bang. The door is still closed. Somebody forgot to open it. I got it. Hold on. I got it. All right. Bang! You didn't unlock the second door half. I got it. Hold on. Jeez. Don't you see there's a fire going on? Uh, people that are on fire doesn't have time to wait. Yeah, get the door open. You know what? Kick there. Don't you dare kick my door like that again. Ah, there's a fire. Wow, kids. You did it. I am so proud of you. You know lots about fire safety. You kicked the door open and you ran outside for safety. I am so proud of you guys. All right, now come back in for some fried chicken. Um, everyone, where'd they go? Ah! Hey guys, I don't think the fire's uh, is. I don't think the fire's there no more. Maybe we should just go back to the house. No, it might be chasing us. Ah, there's no fire chasing us. What are you talking about, girl? Well. That was how you survived through a fire. The Jungle Bungle version. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Get back to the house. Get back to the... Oh, it's never too late. It's never mind. They're already too far. Hoo Up next is Trino. On Melper. Melper. In a brand new episode of Three Sand Fishes, Little Fish gets captured. <laughs> Little Fish. Where'd he go? Ah, where am I going? You're gonna stay with me. The alien fish? Yep, I'm back. Ah, get away from me. No, you have to stay with me. I don't want to stay with you. You're a monster. You're evil. You're ugly. Will the two ones find their three one? I can't believe a little fish is gone. I know. Can I have all his snacks in his cover? In a Monster Mash episode of Three and Fishes, Underground Scores, Wednesday night at 5 on Melper. This is awkward. We're still hugging.